Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how Palpatine surviving Return of the Jedi was cut from the rise of Skywalker. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding me for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video and any other video from the channel that you check out, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that the bell is completely filled in, as this, this is the way. way you will never miss a new video the second it goes live. Do it! Before we go any further, I'm going to throw out a soft spoiler warning for anybody who hasn't seen The Rise of Skywalker yet, as there will be some mild spoilers from the film in this video, so please consider this your spoiler warning. Okay, so The Rise of Skywalker apparently has cut out the scene where Palpatine survived. Most of us didn't even think that this was going to be explained anyway, so the fact that we find out that it's now been cut is actually quite a surprise. And this isn't just some fan theory, this is actually from one of the editors of the film. He had given an interview to IndieWire, and we're going to go over that today and find out why they cut it and how they cut it. So let's get into that. Quote, The return of Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has been met with a polarized response from fans and film critics. Anyone wondering how the villainous Sith Lord stayed alive after being seemingly killed by Darth Vader in 1983's Return of the Jedi does not get any answers in The Rise of Skywalker. The film begins and it's openly accepted by nearly everyone in the galaxy that Palpatine is back. The opening crawl reads, The dead speak. The galaxy has heard a mysterious broadcast, a threat of revenge, and the sinister voice of the late Emperor Palpatine. That's about as much as J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio's Rise of Skywalker script gives fans in terms of explaining the Sith Lord's return. In a new interview with Huffington Post, Rise of Skywalker editor Marianne Brandon confirms that the explanation about how Palpatine survived and or came back to life after Return of the Jedi was removed from the Rise of Skywalker's theatrical cut. There was originally a little more information about it, what was keeping Palpatine alive, Brandon said, but it seemed to go off topic. While it's somewhat comforting to know that there's an actual answer behind Palpatine's continued existence, it remains to be seen whether or not J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio or Brandon will ever reveal the truth. Quote, It was kind of a delicate balance and went back and forth a lot about how much we wanted to reveal, Brandon said about Palpatine's return. Some scenes changed quite a bit, the way that we wanted to present it to the audience. In the end, we ended up showing a lot less of it than what we started with. Brandon added, There was so much information in the film and so many characters that we wanted to have an audience concentrate on. I think we felt we didn't want to clutter the film up with things you didn't need to know. Many Star Wars fans might disagree with Brandon and say that the reason Palpatine's return was something that needed to be known in order to make the rise of Skywalker work. So it seems obvious that Palpatine coming back needed to happen in order for this arc for Kylo to actually work because Snoke is dead and if you watch the film closely in those back to tanks you see a bunch of dead Snoke clones. So Palpatine was Snoke the whole time, and so Palpatine has to be the big bad in this. And if you remember, there was a line that Palpatine said that he actually wanted Rey to strike her down so that he could enter into her and, you know, become one with the Force as he is all of the Sith, and then Rey would be able to take his throne and become the new Empress. And you would think that since Rey killed Palpatine that this would have ended up being what happened but Brandon actually gives us an answer as to why this didn't happen. He says, quote, In the movie, Palpatine says if Rey kills him, his spirit will enter into her, and he'll win. But she does kill him, so why doesn't he actually win? Also, could Rey have just unplugged that big machine that was keeping Palpatine alive? She can't, Brandon said to the suggestion that Palpatine could just be unplugged. She can't kill him in anger. The whole reason Palpatine lost is because Rey didn't strike him down in hate. By ending Palpatine the way she did, reflecting his force lightning back at him with a force push, Rey was able to avoid playing by Palpatine's rules. So clearly there needs to be some more explanation about how the force works in this regard, 
because Palpatine died and where where did his force spirit go that's what needs to be answered at this point what happened to him in the force what happens to him in the force because clearly Rey won and Rey remains to be good Rey remains to be on the light side so we clearly need some more explanation in some type of spin-off comic or quick novel or one-off of some explanation to where Palpatine force spirit is now because clearly we know that everybody is one with the force in Star Wars lore so everybody goes into the force whether you have it or not so we need to understand where Palpatine went in order for this to really be wrapped up completely but let me know what you guys think with a comment down below what do you think about Palpatine's return being cut I would love to see that, so I'm kind of mad that it got cut, so hopefully in the deleted scenes we get to see that, even if it's not going to be in a director's cut of the film, I just want to see the explanation. Let me know what you guys think again in the comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, may God bless you, and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.